Good morning, good afternoon and good evening and welcome back to another intriguing episode of the Have a in Depth. Um, today I'm venturing into stanza 13, um, an enigmatic verse that introdu introduces us to Oblivion's Heron and continues on the journey into the warning of overindulgence. Um, it's very much a continuation of stanzas 11 and 12 and um, is again a warning of in the similar vein of overindulgence, too much alcohol. Um, I think it's fair to say there was very much a need for warning people of drinking too much once upon a time, just as there may be today. So join me as together we will unravel the meaning behind this stanza from both an Old Norse and Stoic perspective and apply its lessons to our modern lives. Thank you. Stanza 13. Oblivion's heron, tis called that over drink hovers. He steals the minds of men. With this bird's pinions I was fettered in Gunlod's dwelling. So, from an Old Norse standpoint, um, in Old Norse culture, storytelling often included symbolic elements, um, and Oblivion's heron is, is one such symbol. It's a bird that hovers over those who indulge excessively in drink, um, leading to a loss of their senses and rationality. The stanza also hints at the alluring, deceptive nature of overindulgence, um, especially in the context of alcohol consumption. The reference, for example, for to being fettered in Gunlod's dwelling adds depth to the interpretation. Um, Gunlod is known for guarding the mead of poetry, uh, a unique and powerful substance created from the blood of the wise being Kvasir, and I apologise if I'm bastardising that pronunciation. Um, the mead of poetry bestowed immense poetic and intellectual abilities upon those who could partake in it. Um, it was stored in a chamber within a mountain concealed from the world. And in the famous story, Odin, the Allfather, uh, the chief of the Aesir, sought this mead. Um, he disguised himself as a wanderer and, through cunning, I think it's fair to say, convinced Gunlod to grant him access to the mead. In just three sips, typical Odin style, he consumed the entire contents of the chamber. Odin then transformed himself into an eagle, as he often did, as several of the gods often did, um, and then flew back to the realm of the gods. So the story of Gunlod's Mead, I love the story of Gunlod's Mead by the way, um, because it carries multiple layers of symbolism. Um, it represents the pursuit of, pursuit of wisdom and knowledge. Um, the lengths one may go to to obtain it and the balance between cunning and intellect. Um, Odin's actions, for example, illustrate the importance of seeking wisdom even through unconventional means. Um, from a Stoic perspective, very similar perspective actually, Oblivion's Heron can be seen as a metaphor for the consequences of overindulgence in pleasure, um, which is fair to say impairs one's rationality and self-control. The Stoics um, emphasised and still do emphasise the importance of self-discipline and maintaining a clear mind, and this stanza absolutely aligns with those principles. As Seneca, the Stoic philosopher, wisely stated, uh, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. 
the pursuit of wisdom and the mastery of one's desires align with this stoic wisdom um in excessive indulgence you know as, as an example can absolutely cloud our ability to be present and make rational decisions it's fair to say you don't gain much wisdom when you've overindulged in a whiskey or two so to our modern lives then how does how does this ancient wisdom apply well if we delve deeper into the modern relevance of these profound insights then we can absolutely understand it in a bit more detail in today's world we are inundated with temptations and distractions um, whether it's the allure of alcohol the mesmerizing glow of screens or the pursuit of fleeting pleasures the concept of oblivion's heron is ever present um, excessive indulgence can be a tempting escape it, you know it, it definitely can but it often leads to a foggy mind um, impaired decision making an inability to be fully present and even worse addiction um, you know I think we've all experienced addiction to one level or another um, but we can all probably draw on somebody that we know who's absolutely let it ruin their lives even as discussed in the previous episode end their lives um, so it's it's that oblivion's heron just constantly be mindful of him or her flying over you every time you're tempted to be overindulgent in a society that celebrates instant gratification and excess stanza 13 serves as a stark reminder um, it encourages us to be vigilant about our choices and urges us to practice moderation it's not about abstaining from pleasures it's not about never partaking in pleasure um, but it is absolutely about savoring them in a mindful and controlled way so that wraps up our analysis of stanza 13 where oblivion's heaven uh, heaven heron serves as a compelling symbol of the perils of overindulgence um thank you for joining me on this insightful journey through the havamal and hail to you before i sign off as always um, I will end by reading stanza 13 to you again. Oblivion's heron, tis called that over drink hovers. He steals the minds of men. With this bird's pinions I was fettered in Gunmod's dwelling. Until next time, may you navigate life's temptations with wisdom and self-control. Hail to you. Thank you for joining me on this. See you on the next one.